before I start today's call, just to give you a small idea about the platform. So Blubber and Web Talks is basically a series of virtual roundtables where we engage with school leaders, educationists, university leaders and try to understand from them that what's new or what's amazing that they're doing within their space to find out what's happening in schools. So today, when we have all of you here, we'll try to know from you, what do you think the way the school that will open up the post-lockdown school or the post-COVID school, how would you define it? What would you think the model of it, the way it will change? How will it evolve? Because the interactions will evolve, the students will evolve, the kind of people you'll get back into those institutions won't be the same that you had before this pandemic. So how it has changed, how it will change, and what does your crystal gazing tell about the future of education? Most importantly, this is a bilingual platform, so you can either use English or Hindi during the whole conversation. You can still use another language, but I won't get it. So try using any of these two. And uh, most importantly, it's a timed platform. It's not a speaking marathon, it's a speaking sprint. So put your best thought first or your best, best foot first so that you're able to complete it within those 100 meters or what I would say in the first three to four minutes. Because once your speaking time is over, you might get muted. If you get muted, please don't get offended. It is just to finish the activity on time and to keep the entertainment quotient high and keep it crisp and enjoyable for everybody. So thank you so much again for joining in. And before I start this call, Namaste once again. Is pure call me koshish ki jiye. Jo bhasha aap achhi lage aap usse istamal karein. Hindi ya Angrezi ke alawa kisi tisri bhasha ka koshish karein ki aap istamal na karein. So a very warm welcome to all of you. Let me invite the first speaker for today to set the context and to get the ball rolling. Ki kya kya naya ho raha hai, kya kya naya hone wala hai. Hamare schools mein, hamare aas pas. Humne abhi tak jo sikha is pandemic se, jis tarikhe se schools badle aur alag tarikhe se badle was this. कि अब स्कूल केवल बच्चों को नहीं पढ़ाते स्कूल्स नो मोर टीच जस्ट द स्टूडेंट्स द स्कूल्स आर नाउ टीचिंग द कम्युनिटीज व्हिच वाज ओरिजिनली द प्लान व्हिच चेंज्ड ओवर कोर्स ऑफ टाइम एंड नाउ इट इज अगेन चेंजिंग तो आप क्या सोचते हैं आप अपने आसपास क्या देख रहे हैं और क्या ऐसा है जो आपसे लोग सीख सकते हैं ट्राई टू गिव अ समथिंग व्हिच इज एन ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड एन इनोवेशन and in some way something the way you can inspire your peers and others can listen to this and learn and try to experiment your innovations within their institutions a very warm welcome to the first guest for today mrs uh, andrea mcloyd karim the regional manager for victoria university of wellington wellington new zealand goodbye andrea very warm welcome to the platform the next thing that's yours please unmute yourself thank you so much daksh uh, namaste everyone main hindi ko samajh sakti hu uh like in english mein baat karunge <laughs> because uh that's a little more comfortable for me um so i'd start off with thank you for inviting me today this is a fantastic topic because it's one which is very much on the mind of all of our student community and our schools community i think to start with when we look at the post lockdown school scenario there's already been a great deal of thought put into the infrastructure that's required schools are putting into place plans to make students physically safe in some cases this means the separation of classrooms in some cases this means uh doing shifts which might have not been there before where students attend only part days or they attend only certain days per week there's a lot of thought that's been going into this area there's a lot of different innovations and um different developments which schools are proceeding with what i would like to see addressed though a very similar urgent need is for the post lockdown school to turn its attention to students emotional and mental health it has been a very challenging year for everyone and even more so for our students they've had their education disrupted they've had their social interactions disrupted it has happened at a very critical time in their lives when they're undergoing some of their most vital development when students return to school they will do so after having faced a certain level of trauma some of them may have lost parents some of them may have lost relatives or family friends and for others who have been lucky enough not to lose anyone dear to them they will still have gone through more than a year of anxiety and uncertainty when they return they may also be struggling to cope with curriculum 
it's as, as hard as all of our teachers have worked, as much as they've tried their best, learning online is not the same as learning in the school environment. We all know that. And there will be some students who are struggling and who will need help catching up. And this can add to feelings of depression and anxiety. Some students may also face social anxiety by being around a large number of people after a very long time of being only in their family bubbles. We always talk about how resilient children and young people are, but the reality is that many of them are struggling to cope with their emotions and that while a return to school will improve the situation for some, it may actually add to mental and emotional health burdens for others. So what we find is that there are very few schools at present who do employ the services of a counsellor who specifically looks after mental and emotional health. Even when schools do have these resources available to them, they are likely to be stretched when students return by the sheer number of students who may need assistance. Apart from counsellors themselves, I think the need of the hour is that teachers also need to be trained to recognise the, um, the signs of a student who has anxiety or a student who is struggling to cope so that they can then get them the assistance and the support that they needed. So to sum up, hopefully within three minutes, I think this is actually a really good opportunity for schools before they reopen to start putting in place policies and practices to ensure that students are supported emotionally and mentally to reintegrate into the school community and that those who are finding it difficult to transition are provided with extra support. Um, I think that having these conversations now and putting these policies into place now can also ensure a new paradigm in the post-COVID era, one where the focus on academic learning excellence and the ensuring stress that sometimes comes with it can take a back seat where student wellbeing is placed first and foremost to help them to get the best possible outcomes. Thank you so much, Andrea. To summarize what you said and to take the conversation forward, students' emotional and mental health has to now be prioritized over everything. Once they come back to school, they would have faced a lot that they would not have ever imagined. And most importantly, we know that they're resilient. We are still relying on the fact that the youngsters are most resilient, but the kind of emotional turmoil they would be experiencing is unprecedented. And we do not know that once they come back to school, would they be ready for it or would they need a reorientation to it? Because the practice of getting up every day, being into that classroom is something that's lost. And that's something that's going to be very difficult for the early childhood years. And most importantly, are schools really equipped for this? Because when we talk of school as institutions, we get the human resources that are not top of the pyramid. And with that kind of people within the whole ecosystem, will it be easy for us to again reinstate the kind of peace and tranquility that was there before this pandemic? And how would the practice of a school come into play again? And how would we be fighting with depression, anxiety? And most importantly, are we in a state when we are trying to achieve mass education at a level that's unprecedented across the globe, are we in a situation to actually hire and afford the kind of resources to keep emotions first? Because schools across India at the moment are facing amazing lot of pressure in their financial security aspect. They're not getting the right kind of revenues. Just sustaining has become a challenge for them. Most of them are going through some of the other form of existential crisis. And when we talk of emotion being first or emotional support being first, will they be in a state to even think of that, to prioritize that at such a level? So thank you so much, Andrea, for adding this perspective to the discussion. Let me invite the next principal, or uh, sorry, the next uh, speaker for today will be sharing her ideas from the higher education perspective again, that because she has a span of working for schools and now looking at schools from a perspective of higher education, what does she think? How does the paradigm has changed? which is typically a question now. We have passed the next class. We have to go to India. 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 
या इन्हें बैक ऑन ट्रैक लाएगा इज समथिंग दैट वी नीड टू नो फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज दिस वुड इम्पैक्ट द स्ट्रक्चर एंड द वर्किंग ऑफ द स्कूल मोस्ट अ वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू मिस इंदू कॉल द डिप्यूटी डायरेक्टर ऑफ एडमिशन एंड आउटरीच फॉर जिंदल स्कूल ऑफ इंटरनेशनल अफेयर्स ओपी जिंदल यूनिवर्सिटी सोनी पथ हरियाणा इंदू मैम ओवर टू यू फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री मिनट्स प्लीज अम्यूट यूर ऑडियो Thank you so much, uh, Dutch, and uh, it's my uh, uh, you know opportunity, golden opportunity, and a wonderful opportunity to be associated with you. And I am very thankful for having invited me over. Yes, like you said, like Mr. Dutch has already said that uh, for me it's a uh, transformation from uh, school education to higher education. Uh, and uh, my experience first, uh, my um, introduction says that I had to learn a lot. first going from school level to university level there was lot of learning for me so covid in one way if i uh, run, uh, you know put it together covid in one way has educated all of us directly or indirectly and uh, when i compare it to with school like you said uh, what comparison it has with school and university when i compare it with school and university or uh, higher education uh, the children at lower age at the school age uh, are get uh, tamed with lot of um, uh, you know emotional bonding uh, whereas uh, at university uh, you need to be at par with them ahead of them much ahead of them and leading them right in the future perspective the little ones um, yes uh, covid has uh, sort of uh, withdrawn them from schools uh, but covid has taught them much more what schools could have indirectly or directly taught them with books or without books uh this i feel is very true because uh covid and these uh, staying at home has taught them patience has taught them to deal with um, crises which they were never prepared for the children were never prepared for uh and when it is compared to higher education higher education children are ready to take risk come out explore because they at times say there's library we can study with that pair group teen teeners will take uh, care at home also we're taking care at home we can take care at university but then we have to follow the government norms and the following the government norms we also have to shut down we had to shut down the university and for the time being we are all working from home and so the children are uh, uh, students are also uh, applying for admissions we have added lot of innovations into admissions uh, which is not much required in schools when we talk of schools but here in university uh, because uh, to bring them out from their homes and to get them into registered into universities we had to add lot of innovation so innovation has been added which keeps them attracted towards coming to the college with the hope and anticipation that uh, uh, august will be a time for them to meet one on one and uh, university at uh, um, at the same time uh, while it's learning from your uh, uh, from your uh, faculty lot of learning is from the faculty the school it is all teaching and learning those little uh, lively things from the little ones um on other side uh, universities we have uh, higher education where we get to uh, you know lot of research work is done so this covid period this covid period has given them like we are sending them uh, uh, topics for certain research work which can be done at home also uh, so i feel now personally i feel that covid uh, has sort of become a way of life and uh, students have uh, acquired this into them and they are taking it and grasping thank you so much indu ma'am the first lot was over so let me summarize what you said you added a different perspective to the discussion where you added the higher education and the uh, school education differentiation and where does it come in the teaching learning process of it so covid educated all of us that's something that's absolutely sure and wo hamare liye teaching learning badi conducive nahi thi wo thodi si dhakke mukki wali learning thi जो कि बड़ी आसानी से नहीं आई बट ये है कि हाँ वो परकुलेट हो गई अब और हम सब की जिंदगी का पार्ट बन गई और इसीलिए शायद हमने जूम जैसे प्लेटफॉर्म्स एक्सेप्ट कर लिए और हम रोजाना कुछ समय इन खिड़कियों पे बिताने के लिए मजबूर हैं और शायद अब थोड़े कहीं कुछ कहीं दुखी हैं सो स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स बॉन्ड इमोशनली जिस परस्पेक्टिव में एंड्रियाडी टॉक अबाउट दट इमोशन इज समिंग दट रन द स्कूल के ट्वेल्व में सबसे बड़ा जो आप कहेंगे एक ड्राइवर है वो इमोशन ही है and which uh, emotion ki badi achi definition i had just read somewhere that emotion is basically your energy in motion so isliye emotion ko bar bar sahi jagah pe divert karna bahut critical hai 
and what we think as a mass teaching uh, you know program india ko ek mass teaching program kaha ja sakta hai kyunki bahut sare bacche hain jinko hum padha rahe hote hain jo ki hamara uh, demographic dividend bhi jisko kaha jata hai ki this is the advantage that we bring to the world stable that we are the youngest population of the youngest country in the world is itni badi population ko padhane ke process mein literacy ke process mein education lose ho jati hai तो जब हमें ये एक साल दो साल का कोविड ने गैप दिया तो वो एजुकेशन वापस से कहीं कुछ हद तक रिज्यूम हो गई बिकॉज विजडम पे काम होने लगा स्किल्स पे काम होने लगा डेली लाइफ पे काम होने लगा बट नाउ व्हेन वी हैव टू गो टू द नंबर्स एंड द लैंग्वेज एंड द डिसीजन मेकिंग एंड द लॉजिक तो वो होगा कैसे और स्कूल उसमें कहाँ कहाँ फंसेंगे या उसमें क्या क्या सोल्यूशन स्कूल को चाहिए होंगे बिकॉज स्कूल इज नॉट अ सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंस बिकॉज यूनिवर्सिटीज आर यू हैव द केपेबिलिटी टू रिसर्च यू है बेस्ट ब्रेन इन द इंडस्ट्री फॉर अ स्कूल दैट बिकम्स अ बिग चैलेंज क्योंकि वहां पर इनोवेशन बहुत धीरे धीरे परकुलेट करती है एंड जस्ट टू गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल इवन आर पॉलिसी इज परकुलेट दैट वे द फर्स्ट किड हु वुड बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द न्यू एजुकेशन पॉलिसी दैट हैज जस्ट कम आउट विल बी इन ट्वेंटी फोर्टी तो ये बहुत बड़ा गैप अपने आप में है कि हम इतने समय का केवल एग्जीक्यूशन लैब्स देखते हैं एंड स्कूल्स के अंदर इन चीजों को रिज्यूम करना वुड बी अ चैलेंज एडमिशन प्रोसेस इन दायर एजुकेशन हैज एवोल्यूटेड हैज इनोवेटेड ड्रास्टिकली आई वुड से और राधर आप कहीं कहीं तो ड्रामेटिकली भी कह सकते हैं बिकॉज एडमिशन अभी इतनी अलग तरीके से एवोल्यूट हो रहे हैं पहले आपका प्रोसेस ये था बच्चा दे वॉज अ डेट टू थिंग्स ना वी डोंट हैव अ टाइम things are just going on on a timeline that get that gets declared over the whims and fancies of the people governing us at the moment aur usko whims aur fancies mein i'm saying it very responsibly because as a policy maker we are not very much planned aur ye labs ab duniya bhar mein dikh bhi raha hai i should not rather be commenting on it but i think this is something that we as educators must be considering that the kind of generation that we give our future to should be taught in these lines as well that plan and let people know your plan and don't make surprises a part of life because that's what distresses a lot that what stresses you a lot as far as your emotion is concerned so thank you so much let me invite the next speaker for today now we'll try to understand the perspective of the person who's executing it every day jo rozana itni sari virtual classes ko chalane pe majboor hain parents ki sari baatein sunne pe majboor hain और बहुत सारे इतने सारे प्रिजुडिस को फाइट कर रहे हैं जो कि शायद दूसरे इमेजिन भी नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि व्हाट वी सी राइट नाउ कि आप छोटी क्लासेस के पेरेंट्स तो बच्चों को ऑनलाइन क्लास में देने भेजने को ही राजी नहीं है एंड अगर भेजने लगे भी हैं तो बच्चों का आप घरों पे देखेंगे छोटे छोटे बच्चे हैं वेट बढ़ गया एकदम से छोटे बच्चों को सरदर्द होने लगे गेटिंग प्रॉब्लम विच आर विच एडल्ट है बिगेस्ट चेंज दैट वी कैन ऑल सी विद इन आर लाइफ वो छोटे छोटे बच्चे बड़ों की तरह बात कर रहे हैं क्योंकि वो बड़ों के बीच में रह रहे हैं एंड आई डोंट थिंक वो लैंग्वेज एवोल्यूशन इतना जल्दी होना चाहिए था क्योंकि उनकी प्रायोरिटीज उस भाषा के साथ बदल जाएंगी सो लेट्स नाउ लिसन टू द स्कूल लीडर्स व्हाट डू दे हैव टू से वट एंड द वे दे डिफाइन द स्कूल दैट विल बी ओपनिंग पोस्ट द लॉकडाउन और वट वी कैन से पोस्ट कोविड स्कूल एंड वी होप दर पोस्ट कोविड वर्ल्ड which now we cannot imagine so very warm welcome to ms dipika rao the principal of dpsg palam bihar gurgaon haryana dipika ma'am over to you for the next 3 minutes please unmute yourself and a very warm welcome yeah. thank you so much for having me here and it's been very interesting hearing uh, the perspective from two people before me so i'm just going to bring you uh, to a fact where we've spoken about uh, the emotional uh, integration of students and the kind of challenges they would face now within the school community uh, we have students um, parents uh, teachers uh, the management everybody is a part of the school community and during this covid phase and now when we are looking towards uh, perhaps reopening in say 2 months from now or 3 months which is unknown so far the kind of challenges that we are forcing is uh, a of course the both the physical and the emotional transition of students physically the students have lost the ability to sit in classes uh, to be with other people um, to kind of write down for long hours to listen to people uh, to be interacting with their teachers taking commands and responding to them and also working with the physical objects in the school which is maybe your labs and your equipments etc so there is a huge disconnect that has come with their daily routines there's a little bit of uh, change which has also come in terms of their uh, you know skill uh, to follow a certain routine 
while they were in school there was a routine of course online classes do have a routine to them but there is uh, every bit of possibility that people could just switch off for a while and then saunter off to do whatever they wanted so that is going to be an immensely big challenge and i have seen that because when we called grade 10 and 12 back to school for pre boards students first said that uh, they did not want to sit for 3 hours and give an exam they were very uncomfortable with the idea of sitting in the same place for 3 hours which is a huge change the second change which i am going to uh, i am worried about is the parents you see this whole period has been a, about struggle uh, between parents and school uh, you must have heard and also read reports and lots of these court orders which have come that uh, schools cannot charge beyond tuition fee or schools can ask for this fee and not ask for the other fee so this has also kind of led to an expose of sorts that there is a lack of trust between the two parties uh parents who were also having their own financial struggles tended to disbelieve the school and what they were charging the schools pressurized to um, take care of their staff members uh was also insisting that you pay the fee there was a lot, lot of news about people saying that we are stopping the online classes for students or we would not be conducting the assessments for such students so that their future is in uncertain hands the fact is that as things kept on changing and varied kind of news kept on creeping in either through newspapers or tv reports or even through whatsapps there was a lot of mistrust that came in and i think that needs to be handled the second mistrust that the parents are going to have is about the safety and security of their children when they come back to school in a physical space and how organized is this school how how effective are this their op- standard operating procedures their policies what kind of care are they going to take would it be safe for my child to go back what is the state of the school whether it's hygienic at the kind of uh, care that we are taking at home whether that's going to be taken or not so you see these anxieties will remain and i see them growing thank you so much deepak ma'am the first 3 minutes were over but we'll try to come back to you some important points i think you want to mention so let me summarize and start off where you started from so when we consider the education space we rather at many times forget the school the school management the trustees and the teachers in it बिकॉज स्कूल के अंदर हमेशा मोटिव ध्यान रखा जाता है कि बच्चे सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट हैं एंड बाकी लोगों को भूल जाया जाता है जिसने अभी बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज खड़ा कर दिया एक फिजिकल इमोशनल ट्रांजिशन जो बच्चों का हो गया और रादर साथ में पेरेंट्स का भी हो गया उसको वापस से रिज्यूम करा पाना रीओरियंट करा पाना बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है आपने बहुत सही एक बात कही कि पेरेंट्स का परसेप्शन तोड़ दिया गया है और वो परसेप्शन वापिस बना पाना स्कूल की क्षमता के बाहर का है क्योंकि इतने बड़े सिस्टम ने उस परसेप्शन को तोड़ा है कि उसे वापस से स्कूल रीगेन करा पाए बहुत टिपिकल है एंड दूसरा द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज विद स्कूल इज दैट यू आर नॉट अ वन टाइम परचेज एज अ प्रोडक्ट इफ यू लुक एट अ स्कूल यू आर अ नॉन डिस्क्रिप्शनरी एक्सपेंडिचर विद अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्शन बिकॉज पेरेंट्स हमेशा देख रहे होंगे डिसीजन री कर रहे होंगे समझने की कोशिश कर रहे होंगे बिकॉज एट दिस मोमेंट जब पेरेंट अपनी फाइनेंशियल सिक्योरिटी लूज कर चुका है तो छोटा से छोटा भी मिसट्रस्ट एकदम से बड़ा हो जाता है एंड उसको डील कर पाना स्कूल की कैपेबिलिटी में व्हाट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड इज नॉट देयर क्योंकि शायद टीचिंग लर्निंग तो उसकी कोर कैपेबिलिटी थी कस्टमर रिलेशनशिप मैनेजमेंट नहीं थी क्योंकि अभी तक पेरेंट स्टेक होल्डर नहीं था इन द डिस्कशन बट अब वो हर क्लास में हर समय सब कुछ सुनता हुआ कंटिन्यूस इवेल्युएशन कर रहा है तो शायद स्कूल को अब सी की जरूरत है कि आपके यहाँ एक विभाग हो जो केवल और केवल कस्टमर रिलेशन मैनेज करे एक बात जो आपने कही कि ग्रेड टेन टू ट्वेल्व स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन यू कॉल देम बैक टू स्कूल एंड यू वांट टू हैव देयर एग्जामिनेशन इस पे वन ऑफ द स्कूल लीडर्स हैड एन अमेजिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन जो मैं बहुत बार शेयर करता भी हूँ प्लेटफॉर्म पे कि जब आपके स्कूल खुलेंगे जब बच्चे वापस आएंगे तो शायद वो हर दस मिनट में लेटना चाहेंगे उन्हें आपके स्कूल की कुर्सियां पसंद नहीं आएंगी उन्हें सोफे चाहिए होंगे उन्हें शायद क्लास के पेंट खराब लगेगा क्योंकि उन्हें घर की दीवारें चाहिए होंगी और आपके यहाँ के पंखे उन्हें सेटिस्फाई नहीं कर पाएंगे क्योंकि उन्हें इसी की आदत हो चुकी होगी तो अब ऐसे में एक स्कूल जो कि शिक्षा के लिए बना था क्या सर्विसेज पे फोकस करने लगेगा और अगर सर्विसेज पे फोकस करेगा तो बच्चों को पढ़ाएगा या उनको कंफर्ट्स देगा और ऐसे पॉइंट पे जब बच्चे का कंफर्ट उसकी सेफ्टी उसकी सिक्योरिटी सबसे बड़ी प्रायोरिटी है तो इस सब में पढ़ाई कैसे हो पाएगी इज अ बिग 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 क्वेश्चन क्योंकि हमारी प्रायोरिटीज एज अ कम्युनिटी है 
one of the school leaders uh, had shared here is if this is the opportunity for a school to again regain the trust again reposition the brand and again claim the kind of uh, authority you had at some point of time kyunki ab aapne sach mein samaj ko padhana hai ab aap keval bachcho ko nahi padha rahe honge because there's no other way that you can bring all these stakeholders together with the same kind of consonance that was there so thank you so much dipika ma'am for adding this perspective of trust perception ya jo brand loss pe hum baithe hain usko hame regain kaise karna hai let me invite the next speaker for today she's somebody who has participated on this platform before as well so a second very warm welcome to you ma'am and aapki bahut sari baatein hum pehle bhi sun chuke hain let's now know from you ki pichli baar se is baar mein kya kya bahut zyada badal gaya aur kya kya badal raha hai a very warm welcome to ms pratibha sopori the principal of springdale school from jammu jammu and kashmir pratibha ma'am a very warm welcome the next three minutes are yours uh first of all good evening daksh it's very uh, like a pleasant moment to meet you again to talk on this platform where we have different panelists and uh, we are uh, like a uh, good to see it to them and listen to them and get the new ideas from them see uh from my point of view like opening up schools will continue and will be a worldwide debate for all of us and it will continue for years and years and uh, as one of my panelists has already uh, discussed on it that the most important aspect of uh, the students or uh, opening up the school is physical and mental health like we as a school leaders we need to take uh, more care and we have to make sure that the children are provided with uh, mental uh, health and <clears throat> instead of trying to cover their uh, this uh, like syllabus contents and all we have to make sure that uh, when the schools will reopen we have to create such a environment that they have to mingle with their friends because uh, see uh, some of the students are like that i will talk uh, about the toddlers some of the toddlers are like that they have never seen the school they have never seen the teachers so i'll give an example that uh, when we did admissions in uh, pre prep classes like nursery lkg ukg and most of the uh, parents they uh, told us ma'am can we come to school with our kids they want to see what exactly is the school they want to meet their teacher they want to see the classroom they want to know what is a school so these are there are so many uh, things which we have to cover we have uh, like a gap has been uh, is increased day by day students are at home they are uh, not so mingled and interacted with their peer groups we have to teach them social skills we have to teach them uh, like physicality they have to be very uh, because they are at home they are consolidated to the four walls or the four walls of a room or home so to meet all these ends we have to develop such a environment in a school where we have to provide enough opportunities to build healthy relationship with the fellow students and the teachers now what is there we are taking the online classes no doubt we are very much particular that uh, the time table should uh, it has to be like this the time slot of periods is like this but when the school children will enter the school campus they have to they have lost the interaction this we are doing the online classes but this is not actual interaction we uh, the teachers continue to tell them switch on the videos they have been flexible they are on their own that ha abhi hum video on karte hain to theek hai nahi karenge tab bhi kya hoga so so many challenges are there where we have first to focus instead of cramming going on the cramming track ki hame syllabus complete karwana hai i think the biggest challenge for us is to develop and to implement the concept of sharing listening following the directives negotiating compromising cooperating with the teachers interaction with all so i think this is the biggest challenge for us of when the schools we will reopen and uh, next the educational setup which we have to follow 
that is that is also a part of part will be part that will be thank you so much pratibha ma'am the time is over so to summarize फिजिकल एंड मेंटल हेल्थ जिस पे हम फोकस करना चाह रहे हैं वो अभी नहीं हो पा रही जिस ऑनलाइन टेक्नोलॉजी जिस एटेक के भरोसे पे सारी इतनी सारी लर्निंग कंटिन्यू हो रही है ये अब सब समझ चुके हैं कि वो एक केवल और केवल टेम्पररी सोल्यूशन है दैट डज नॉट इन एनी वे कंप्लीट द टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस बिकॉज आप बच्चों को वेन यू यू नो एज यू गेव एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ टॉट लड़की जब वो एडमिशन लेते हैं तो दे वॉन्ट सी दैट फिजिकल स्पेस दे वॉन्ट फील दैट इमोशन कि भाई स्कूल क्या है एक टीचर कौन होता है यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा होता है सो अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल दैट अ स्कूल प्लेस दैट वी आई थिंक एज अ कम्युनिटी हैड अंडर माइंड इज यू क्रिएट द सोसाइटी विद इन दोज वॉल्स ऑफ द स्कूल आप उस पूरी सोसाइटी को डेफिनेशन दे रहे होते हैं कि आप एक दूसरे से किस तरीके के रिलेशन रखेंगे आप कहाँ से किससे बात करेंगे किससे बात नहीं करेंगे किसको कौन से एक्सप्रेशन देंगे किसको कौन से एक्सप्रेशन नहीं देंगे आप ये हर छोटी चीज इन एडवर्टेंटली डिफाइन कर देते हैं उस हर बच्चे के लिए उसके जीवन भर के लिए क्योंकि उस चीज एस जस्ट अ वेरी रिसेंट रिसर्च डन बाय द ऑक्सफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी वेरी वेल टेल्स कि बच्चा जिंदगी में केवल दो ही बार ड्रामेटिकली एवोल्यूट करता है पहला उसकी जिंदगी के पहले तीन सालों में एंड उसके बाद उसकी टीन में और ये दोनों उम्र केवल स्कूल के पास है ये ना यूनिवर्सिटी के पास है ना ये किसी और शिक्षण संस्था के पास है ये केवल एक स्कूल के पास है और स्कूल अपनी उस क्रिटिकल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी को शायद अंडरमाइन कर गया था कहीं ना कहीं एंड एज अ कम्युनिटी एज वेल वी हैड फोगॉट दिस कि इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट लिटरेसी एंड गोइंग बियॉन्ड नॉट जस्ट अबाउट सम नंबर दैट फाइनली यू नो शाइन्स अपॉन योर मार्कशीट एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर उसके बियॉन्ड शिक्षा को हमें कोविड ने वापिस से दिखा दिया बट एक बात जिसका अभी बहुत बड़ा डर है जो ऑन दिस वेरी प्लेटफॉर्म वन ऑफ द स्पीकर्स एट शेयर्ड ये कहीं ऐसा सिनेरियो ना हो जाए कि राजधानी बंद थी तो दुरंतो में चढ़ गए थे अब दुरंतो बंद हो गई तो फिर राजधानी में न चढ़ जाए सो वील हैव टू बी वेरी कॉशियस अबाउट दिस कि वी डोंट गेट बैक टू वट वॉज नॉर्मल नाउ वी नीड द रीडेफिनेशन ऑफ द नॉर्मल सो थैंक यू सो मच मैम लेट मी इन्वाइट द नेक्स्ट स्पीकर फॉर टूडे Uh, Mr. Dhawan Kumar, the principal of uh, Maluka Public School from Moga, Punjab. Before Dhawan ji starts to speak, this whole platform, we have one very important thing that we always keep in mind. We try to represent the entire education system in every strata. We try to represent the tier one cities or the acclaimed globally acclaimed cities. We try to represent the tier three, tier four cities, and even we try to go to the village schools because perspectives change. And when we talk of education, the most and the most critical element of it is always inclusion to hum is platform mein koshish hamesha ye karte hain ki koi perspective miss na ho to tier 3 ke shaharon mein tier 3 ke parents ke sath and wahan par kis kis tarike se school evolute ho raha hai let's try to understand from mr dhawan kumar who is the principal of maluka public school from moga punjab dhawan ji a very warm welcome to the platform the next 3 minutes are yours please unmute yourself thank you so much uh, mr dutch so i would like to say thank you so much to uh, love world for providing me this platform to interact with the intellectual personalities here over see sir uh, you know during this pandemic it taught us like health is more important than anything or is covid ka jo ek you know andhera hai the darkness of this covid kahin na kahin is andhere mein ek shikshak aur shishya ye dono hi gum chuke hain so it is very hard once the school will reopen and they will do face uh, you know the many of the challenges because nothing is as you so uh, first of all you know they will do feel one they do enter in the school they do see the changes in the routine like as they are keeping social distancing so parents they they mug up their children स्कूल में जब जाओगे तो किसी को छूना नहीं है किसी से हैंडशेक नहीं करना बहुत दूर बैठ के यू नो यू हैव टू सेट यू हैव टू कीप द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड्स सो इट इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर ऑल दी यू नो द चिल्ड्रन बिकॉज कहीं ना कहीं इमोशनली और उनके ऊपर एक प्रेशर uh, जो है वो पेरेंट्स का प्रेशर बहुत ज्यादा है खास करके यू you नो know, uh, अगर मैं आपको बोलूँ कि रूरल एरिया के जो स्कूल आम वर्किंग इन रूरल एरिया सो हियर जब स्कूल खुले थे वन द स्कूल्स फॉर ओपनिंग एंड इट्स इट्स ऑन अ रेगुलर मोड सो पेरेंट्स यूज टू से लाइक वी आर पेइंग द फी टू द स्कूल एंड इट्स योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू टीच आर चिल्ड्रन 
so if we need to take care of the children at our home so why we are paying to you so this is what we are facing a, a big challenge during the online study even the parents are uh, not all the parents are literate to uh, cater their children or to take care of their children and they can support them for the online studies so it is the biggest challenge for them because uh, suppose uh, there is one family and having two or three children and uh, we are teaching them online so they have only one device at home so uh, this is also bigger biggest challenge for them as they are facing so once the school will open after the lockdown you know as there will be the social distancing wearing mask lab and library instructions would be different and the special sitting plan would be there no specific interval would be there and classroom assembly will be there so there are many new things will be new uh, challenges the student will face ki jo ye gaadi utri hai ek education ki us gaadi ko track pe leke aane ke liye it is a very difficult because uh, parents society dekhiye na ek triangle ke upar ek bacche ka education development hai स्कूल पेरेंट्स फैमिली एंड द सोसाइटी समाज तीनों को ही यू नो एफर्ट्स अपने करने होंगे ऑल यू नो एफर्ट्स उनको करने होंगे ताकि एक बच्चे का डेवलपमेंट उस तरीके से हो पाए सो कहीं ना कहीं हमें फिजिकल क्लासेस के साथ साथ पैरल ऑनलाइन यू नो क्लासेस ऑल्सो वी नीड टू है बिकॉज हंड्रेड परसेंट पेरेंट्स विल नोट सेंड देर चाइल्ड थैंक यू सो मच धवन सर एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर एडिंग दिस परसपेक्टिव पेरेंट्स का जो पोर्शन है या पेरेंट्स का जो बच्चे के लिए प्रोटेक्टिव इमोशन है वो काफी हद तक बढ़ के बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ गया है और उसके बाद इसकी वजह से भी ट्रस्ट क्राइसिस हो रहा है जो दीपिका मैम भी कह रहे थे वंस द स्टूडेंट कम्स बैक टू स्कूल बहुत जगह जब स्कूल खुले एंड वी हैड सीन ऑल द स्कूल अक्रॉस डेली गुड़गांव काफी सारे स्टेट्स ने अलाउ कर दिया था स्कूल को खोलना एंड उस समय सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज जो स्कूल के अंदर बच्चों जब बच्चे वापिस आए थे तो यही था नो बडी न्यू वेट गो स्टूडेंट्स ये नहीं समझ पा रहे थे कि असेंबली है कि नहीं है क्लास है कि नहीं है और इतने सारे कंफ्यूजन में वो अपने जो पुराने बॉन्ड्स थे उनको रिवाइव कर पाए ये तो नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल हो गया था तो ऐसे में अब जब हम स्कूल्स खोलेंगे तो हमें ये वापस से शायद रिकंसिडर करना होगा इज दैट फीस फॉर कीपिंग योर स्टूडेंट प्रोटेक्टेड और इज इट इज फॉर एजुकेटिंग हिम आप वो शिक्षा के लिए फीस दे रहे हैं या उसे प्रोटेक्टेड रखने के लिए या उसे कंफर्टेबल रखने के लिए एंड जैसा आपने कहा वो तीनों लेग्स पे जहां हम खड़े हैं जहां समाज है पेरेंट्स है और स्कूल है इन तीनों को काम करना होगा लेकिन इन तीनों का सामंजस्य तो सर है नहीं ये तीनों कभी कब एक साथ छुट्टी पे नहीं जाते ये अपनी अपनी मर्जी से चले जाते हैं एंड वहां पर चीजों को एक साथ ला पाना चैलेंज होता है सो थैंक यू सो मच वी लिसन टू ऑल द स्पीकर नाउ सो द नेक्स्ट फोर टू फाइव मिनट्स इज एन ओपन फ्लोर अगर आप गलती से भी म्यूट कर दिए गए थे आपका टाइम खत्म हो गया था कोई इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट मिस हो गया था तो यू कैन जस्ट पुट योर हैंड अपिकली यू कैन जस्ट अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ एंड टेक दैट टाइम टू मेक योर क्लोजिंग रिमार्क्स सो दैट वी कैन मूव ऑन टू द कंक्लूजन ऑफ दिस टू डेज सेशन सो इफ एनीबडी वॉन्ट्स टू स्पीक यू कैन जस्ट अनम्यूट योर ऑडियो एंड कंप्लीट योर थॉट्स इफ यू आर इंटरप्टेड बिकॉज वी म्यूटेड यू दीपिका मैम प्लीज Yeah, so uh, sorry, but I I'll just take another minute. I said that one of the important aspects about uh, reopening is also about the staff mem- members. You see, the staff has gone through a huge uh, emotional and physical pressure at this time. Uh, a lot of places had salaries compromised. The work was perhaps more than double. We transitioned into modalities that were unknown to us. People had to skill themselves on the go, and also manage the anxieties of their own families. so for them they have been through a lot and this is usually a profession that is dominated by women who anyway take a lot of pressure more than their fair share and uh, more so in this time so when they come back and i've seen many of my uh, staff members when they have come back after the first lockdown some of them had drastically lost weight uh, some of them have had a huge financial crunch in their families and they have changed so when they come back one of the biggest thing is not just counseling the students but also counselors for those people those teachers to help them help them see this profession as something meaningful you see this profession has lost its meaning because simply and especially in this period because of the fact that that uh, financials hugely impacted emotional pressures too many physical challenges far too many a lot of deaths in the second wave etc so you know people start wondering why am i doing this and that question is very very important we need to bring that why in a very meaningful way back to them 
and for the management it's again going to be a huge thing because when you want to keep your children physically and emotionally safe and your staff physically and emotionally safe it means increased expenses so to for them to understand that this increased expense is all about what they keep talking about and that is community connect so they should not uh, you know kind of feel bad about it this is something that they should willingly and happily reach out to do because this is again going to create a cohesive community and also it's going to generate a goodwill and most managements when we talk about numbers and you've been talking about crm etc and uh, having done marketing for schools for so long i think when you are looking at creating a meaningful picture of your community this is going to be one of the big things that you can do it's a great opportunity so if management start looking upon uh, this as an opportunity to reconnect with their community in diverse ways it will be useful for them thanks for time to stand up as management as people who are leading because okay. आपका जो ट्रस्ट क्राइसिस है उस ट्रस्ट को रीगेन करने का भी यही मौका है कि आपने उसी समय को अच्छे से इस्तेमाल करना है जो आपने बात कही कि हम लोग जो पूरी इतनी बड़ी कम्युनिटी है जो एजुकेशन को जिंदा रखती है वो कम्युनिटी बहुत ज्यादा डिस्ट्रेस्ड है सैलरीज मिली नहीं है काम बढ़ गया है एंड घर का प्रेशर जो ऑलरेडी बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ा हुआ सबके लिए है बिकॉज फाइनेंशियली हम लोग सब टूट गए हैं एंड इस समय पे जब आप स्कूल को रीओपन करना चाहते हैं और बच्चों को नॉर्मल रखना चाहते हैं तो ऐसे में गलती से भी अगर वो टीचर का स्ट्रेस बच्चे में ट्रांसेंड हो गया तो बच्चा स्ट्रेस के साथ बड़ा हो जाएगा राधा देन विथ न्यू आइडिएशन विथ न्यू एनर्जी तो हमें इस पॉइंट पे एज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ज्यादा रिस्पॉन्सिबल होना होगा एंड एज इंडिविजुअल्स कई गुना रिस्पॉन्सिबल होना होगा क्योंकि बहुत जगह वो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी के लिए हमें हमारी ही संस्थाओं से लड़ना पड़ेगा एंड जब वो लड़ाई होगी तो वो लड़ाई किसी अच्छे एंड के लिए होगी बस इसी उम्मीद के साथ उसे करते रहना पड़ेगा थैंक यू सो मच दीपिका मैम Uh, if anybody wants to add something they can absolutely do it uh, otherwise we can move on to the conclusion of it okay so most of the people have already spoken so before this call comes to an end just to give you an idea on what exactly blub world is trying to do blub world works on a very simple concept of inspiring children across the world and that's our tagline and we take it very seriously we are trying to uh, you know take this lines in two of its meanings we are trying to list the most inspiring children across the world and at the same time trying to inspire children across the world through their stories while working for so many years in finding stories and trying to understand what all new and innovative children can do and why there is a need to be inspired by your peers we have understood one thing you cannot any more talk to children in a way where you are teaching them you can only befriend them every month we try to find a story of a teenager from across the world who's doing amazingly well and try to share their stories with other teens just to give you a very small story you can see alina mors on the screen she's a candy printer from the us she makes candies at home and right now her candies are sold across the walmart stores in the whole of us so this is the time when you need to think on the lines that your teen or your student is your friend the teacher has to now become a peer a teacher can no more be a sage on the stage who's trying to deliver a sermon don't deliver sermons try to befriend them kyunki unke apne friends kam ho gaye hain unka wo ecosystem chhota sa ho gaya hai ab usko aapne bada karna hai we on our end are trying something of this sort now let's see whether it seems in the right direction or not we are trying to establish the world's first and the world's biggest teen parliament blub world right now has connected with more than 6500 schools across the world in 50 plus countries and we are trying to bring all these teenagers together for the good to simply answer a very very simple question that how will i improve the world if a student has any idea on how can he improve things around him the community around him the society around him let him answer this question we at the world teen parliament we'll be selecting 100 most amazing teenagers and we'll be funding their ideas not just giving them gyan and sermons we'll actually be giving them some resource some money so that they can execute it on ground for doing this the process is very simple you have to just come on the blubber platform register and follow the details here here but but most importantly on this call it is not meant that i promote the world teen parliament and tell you all about it it is just to give you a very simple idea 
let ideation happen because that's the only way you can free them from all the stress that they have created and the only way that you can answer the why which deepika ma'am mentioned kyunki us kyon ka jawab bahut critical hai ki us school wapas kyon jana hai jab hum pass ho hi gaye the to padhne ki zarurat kya hai jab aage bhi zindagi chal hi jani hai to hum effort kyon lenge so us kyon ke jawab ke liye let them do things with their own hands kyunki us kyon ka jawab wahi pe hai thank you so much for being a part of the blog world web talks 130th episode i hope you enjoyed If you did and if you want to attend the future sessions you can open your audio say a big yes and thank you so much for being a part namaste people thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you so much